Hey everybody, welcome back to The Dude's Kitchen and if it's your first time here, please remember to subscribe and ring that bell. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make an amazing Seattle dog. We're gonna do it on the Weber kettle. These things are awesome. While we're filming, think about how you would make it. Maybe you've had it before and maybe you put something different on and leave a comment down below. All right, let's start with our ingredients. To make our Seattle dog, of course we need hot dogs, but we're gonna use some sauerkraut. I've got half an onion, sour cream. Sour cream goes on the bun. We're gonna use some yellow mustard. You can use some brown mustard or Dijon. And we're gonna to top it with some banana peppers. Let's start on the onions. Mm. We start with one onion, cut it in half. And we're gonna need quite a lot of onions for this. Onions going everywhere. It's all right. Perfect. Put them into a pan. And then we throw some EVOO over the top. All right, let's start on the sauerkraut. We have one can of sauerkraut. Just throw it in. Throw a little EVOO in there. Give it a nice stir, kind of flatten it down a little bit. All right, let's throw this on the Weber kettle. Our Weber kettle is up to 400 degrees. So I'm just gonna put the onions on and the sauerkraut down. Now we need to make sure we watch this because we don't want either to burn. So we put the dogs down. Everybody's seen that. They've been on for about five minutes. Onions are looking good, sauerkraut's done. I think it's time to take the sauerkraut and onions off. Give our dogs just a few more minutes. Get them over that direct heat. You can see we're getting some burnage there. Put him off to the side. Same with that one. No biggie. But I think that after about seven minutes, these things are done. Now we're getting that nice limp. What do you think, Chris from Eastwind Farms? All right, let's finish our Seattle dogs. With everything off the grill, now it's just time to lay our buns down. The reason why I pulled everything off to do the buns is because there was so much going on here and the buns will burn so fast. I just wanna make sure that I have time to concentrate on these buns. All right, so we're sitting at about a minute. Give them a flip. As you can tell, we're starting to see some brownage on that, perfect. We'll give them another minute on this side and then we'll take them off. Our buns were on the Weber kettle for exactly two minutes. I'm just gonna put some cream cheese on one side of each bun. Don't be shy about the cream cheese either, man, I'm telling you. Take a dog, put it down. Add some onion over it. Don't need to be shy about the onion either, man. I'm telling you. A little bit of kraut. Oh, these are gonna be loaded. I'm gonna throw a little yellow mustard. A little bit of brown or Dijon. Do the same thing over here. And the best part. Some banana peppers. There you go, guys. What do you think? I think it's time to try to eat it. All right, the moment of truth. Mmm.
telling you, you do this over the Weber kettle, it's perfect. Because you get the mustard out of this, of course, those onions, and the cream cheese. Cream cheese just shines right through this. That sauerkraut, and gosh, you know, the peppers. Guys, these are the bomb. The recipe's down below. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell for notifications. We made Seattle dogs. Tell me what you guys will put on your Seattle dog. Maybe you've had them before. Tell me a little bit about your experience. I'm going to go back to eating. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time on the Dude's Kitchen. Take care, guys.